hi guys it's promise Watson here again with another awesome text effect this is a two layer text effect surprising right yeah so we are going to be unraveling how this text effect was achieved the gradient manipulations the layer arrangement and a lot on this tutorial okay so if you're new to this channel you know what to do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as i drop awesome tutorials like this every wednesday night so guys without further ado let's get started I'm gonna start by heading over to the white menu here now this white boss and then getting the blank background everything is gone now. i have a blank background now so i'll head over to the background interface with the image resize to and then change this dimension to the dimension we want to use that is the youtube channel banner which is 22560 1440 so i'll click ok and this is it now so what i want to do next is head over to color now and then use the plus button and then use the this uh, pencil look alike to which is used to type in color and then paste or type in my color so i have the colors here on the clipboard so guys pay attention to these colors because they are paramount okay you need to stick to the colors to get the exact text effect after then you can play around so the color here it's 03 ic 1e so i'm gonna click good and okay and okay so i have the background color now what i want to do next now is get the text so i'll use the plus button and then i have my text now i'm gonna drag this text to the center and then draw to make it big a little and then i'm gonna double tap on the text i want to type in the text we used for the tutorial so the text is style so i'm gonna type in style and i have style i'm gonna click okay and then draw a little bit to make it bigger so the font i use for the text is um bell gate so i have it on my description link so you get there you're gonna get the font so this is the bell gate 400 i'm gonna click ok and then i have the font now so what i want to do now i can use padding to um space the left side of this text and the right side of this type text but what i can do is use the edit and then space from the right side and then space from the left side so this is what i have now click ok and this is it i will increase this a little bit probably um i will be increasing as i'm as i'm working on uh, on the text now so what next now is change our color that is where we will require the gradient manipulation that is the golden gradient manipulation so i'm going to increase the size of this text before that i'm going to increase it a little and then increase it a little more somewhere here and then increase it a little more so somewhere here now is good now so next is use our color and then we'll head over to gradient now this is where we require a lot of work now so we use the plus button now and then this is what we we'll have this is a default gradient here on pixel lab now so what you want to do next is tap on this vex color plate here now and then change use the color to beneath here now, and then change to the the first color is yellow it's gonna be a 10 gradient arrangement so watch closely and pay attention to the color code so i'll use the pencil look alike to now and then fix this here then delete i have the colors on my clipboard so i'm going to be calling them as we go through so this is the first yellow color which has it color code as f1 b e 41 f1 b e 41 so I'm, I'm just going to delete the the tags i used on them so i'll click ok ok and ok so i have my first yellow i'm going to tap on the color plate and use the plus button again it duplicates another color for me so this is what i'm just going to do and then i'm going to type in the copy brown this time so i have it on my color plate now i just tap this the color code is fb2828 fb2828 so that's coffee brown okay and okay and then we'll duplicate the coffee brown again and then bring it closer somewhere here and then use the color to again and then this time i run the yellow and then the second yellow which is e7a72c e7 a 726 so we'll click okay 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 and then we'll duplicate this again and bring closer somewhere here and then use the color again this time around we'll paste in the coffee brown i've cut the coffee brown already so i'm not gonna be calling it again in case you didn't get it is 7 b 2 8 2 8 so we're gonna click okay okay and okay so we'll duplicate this again and then bring closer here and then this time around we'll type in the yellow color code now so paste first yellow again which is f1 be41 that is the same 
yellow color so if you copy them initially no need copying them again so i'm going to duplicate this again and place here and then use the color tool again and then with the pencil look i like to and then paste the other color this time around is the coffee brown again and then we'll delete this and click ok and ok and ok so we'll have this now we are going to duplicate this again bring it somewhere here and then this time around we are going to type in the yellow color code i've put all these color codes so the second one this time around let me record record the color for those that didn't get it it's 37A72C so I'll click OK and OK and OK so we'll duplicate this again bring somewhere here and then we we'll use the color code this time around we'll paste in the coffee brown so I'm gonna delete this and the coffee brown color 7 b 8828 I've put this color code before I'm just recalling them for those that didn't get it initially so we'll duplicate this again and then place here so how many colors do we have here we have two 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 and then this nine so we'll paste in this one which is yellow I'm gonna paste in the first yellow this time which is f1 be 41 I've called it before so if you copied it that's cool so this is the last one now and it's gonna be the brown so we use the edit tool and then paste in the coffee brown again this time which is 7b2828 so I'll delete this and then click OK and OK and OK. So I have the complete colors now. What I want to do next now is then arrange all these colors so that they, they look gradual. They don't look scattered. So I'm going to arrange, arrange, arrange something like this. And uh, I'll click OK now. So I have the color now. I have the color now. So next is I'm going to click the good button up now. And then I'm going to add some shadows to this now. So guys, here is my shadow tool. I'm just going to on it now. And then I'm going to increase the blur radius of the shadow to 20. And then the color of the shadow is black. That's the default shadow color. And then we are going to increase the Y offset to just 5 or 6 or 4. You can also do with that. So we head over to the 3D tool. As usual, it's a 3D text. So we we'll have to use the 3D. We'll on the 3D tool now. And you know what we do whenever we on the 3D tool? We just off the simulate lightning as usual then we we'll change to oblique instead of perspective and then we change the oblique angle to just two something let's just keep at 222 or 230 you can try 228 27 26 so then we'll reduce the depth because we don't need much depth you can keep the depth at four and then we change from auto color to gradient color because the color we are going to be using is a gradient color then we'll reduce this dark and this dark and is 30 percent we'll keep it to zero because we won't be needing the uh, dark and then we'll, we we change the gradient color to this same color we use for the text um color this same color we use for the text color that's the color we are going to use for the gradient color and then you click okay but what do you notice on this style now you can notice that this um 3d effect on the style is looking blurry that's the 3d at the back let me lock this so i explain the 3d at the back of this text is looking blurry so what you want to do as usual i've thought it before so let me unlock this now it adds some stroke to this now so this is where we we'll require another work okay so guys pay attention so i'm going to on the stroke tool this is the stroke tool now i just on it now so we'll move over to gradient again you use gradient colors on stroke with this same color we'll add it to this now and then we increase the stroke amount to probably seven let me just leave it as five now if i'm done working i'll increase to seven so i'll use plus now and then we are gonna rework on these colors now so i will start from this i'm gonna start from this i'm gonna delete this first color now so i have first yellow yellow okay so guys these are the the colors we used initially so the color code for the yellow is gonna be the same so i have yellow yellow and then i have this brown here i have this yellow here i have brown here so i'm gonna switch this brown here because that is what the arrangement i'm gonna be having so i have a yellow and i'm gonna duplicate this now to get another brown now which i'm gonna keep here so we'll have this arrangement now so this is the arrangement we have we have yellow yellow brown yellow brown brown yellow brown yellow brown so this is the arrangement now but we'll change the color of the brown and leave that of the yellow you get so this is the brown now. i'm going to be calling the color i'm going to tap on the brown color and use the color this the color tool here now and then use this pencil look i like to which is using pasting color so i'll tap on the color delete this and then this is the color here now this is the stroke brown 
it has two stroke brand colors and we are going to be using them so the color code is 3A0203 3A0203 capital letters for color code okay so i'll tap on this and uh, this other brown and then use the color to i've told you guys why we don't duplicate all those colors if you duplicate them they are gonna change color so this is the color here 3a0203 i'll click ok and ok and ok so for those that are new to my tutorial wondering why i'm not duplicating this color like using the plus but you see what happens if you duplicate it it's gonna change the color to suit their um the color in that it's in between you get these two colors is gonna bring a color to suit it so i'm just gonna remove this now and then i have my brown here again so i will change this other brown to the second brown so we we'll use the color and the color two here and then we'll paste in the stroke brown two this one is 3d1200 so i'm just gonna head over to delete the text i have here I'm gonna click okay and okay and okay so i have these two brown colors now over to this other brown tap on it use the color to also look i like to and then on the color and then delete this color and then paste the other first brown stroke brown which is 3a0203 i've called it before if you've copied it that's cool so you can copy it again if you forgot the color so this is it and then this is the yellow then this is the last um mm, brown color so we use this color now and then the color too and then we'll delete this and then paste in the second uh brown that's the stroke brown too i'll click ok and ok and ok so this is what i have now so i'm gonna arrange these guys to look better because it's no ground draw i'm gonna arrange them to look better so i'll move this guy and then increase the size of this one because i'll be needing much of it these two dark brown here in at the middle here i'll be needing much of them so i'll arrange this like this now so guys pay attention to this arrangement you see what it's looking like okay so we'll click okay now and this is it for the stroke i'm going to increase the stroke width to seven like i said earlier so this is the stroke width now seven we'll click okay and then we'll have our shadow we'll have our stroke we are almost done we can increase this test now a little bit so we can just increase a little bit so somewhere here and then we can increase the more you can increase the more to whatever size you feel it's okay for you we'll copy this now and then i'm going to remove the shadow because we don't need it remove the stroke because we don't need it for this one and then we'll have just the color now so on this now we head over to the color tool now and then on still on gradient we'll swipe to some other gradient color here that's the default gradient colors here let's use this white and black this is cool place it somewhere here and i think we are good now so we we'll use the plus button and then we'll tap on this black color now so we'll tap on this black here now and then with the color tool we'll use the pencil look i like to i have the colors on my clipboard here so i'm gonna paste the first gray here which is d d d d d that is 5d and 1f so we'll delete the tag the color tag we'll click ok and then we'll have the first gray color now i'll click ok with this now and then i'm gonna head over to this with the color tool pencil look i like to and then on the color code I'm gonna paste in the second gray, which is this one I love it, dark gray, which is A O A0 A0 A0. Okay, so guys, pay attention to these colors. They are gonna be very important for you to get this text effect perfectly well. So we'll now bring the colors together to get that pattern effect on the text effect. That is this pattern effect here now. So I'm just gonna move this closer somewhere here. And I'll click OK. So we have this pattern effect, but it's not looking OK now. It's not looking proper. So we use the plus button. We'll adjust it somewhere here. And then we'll bring this one closer. Something like this. It's cool now. So we'll have this now. We'll click OK. And then we'll head over to the inner shadow tool. I use this to offset. You guys are going to see that. So we head over to on there. Once you're on it, it's going to give you a black inner shadow. So what you want to do is use the plus button beside this color balls now. And then this, new, this um, boy here snap to the extreme so it changes to white so you have white now and then this um thought slider now this is the transparency slider you reduce the transparency to somewhere here you are looking at look at where my own boy is now somewhere here now so you click ok and then the blow reduce you're gonna reduce to two or three you can use three you can use two and then you increase offset of x increase x offset to three and y offset to three 
so we'll click ok and then we can then play around with this now so looking at this i think we did it on the 3d we did it off the 3d now so you can see the effect is on this style text now so what we want to do now is off the 3d so it doesn't affect it now so we'll have it off now click ok and then we we'll bring it to our own to our own text so you are gonna align and move this to you feel it's okay for you so me i'm gonna move up a little and then move left and then bring down and then left and then right again so for this now it's okay for me now i'm good with this what i want to do is use the plus button from from gallery this um explosion effect or celebration effect or ribbon effect whatever you can call it i'm gonna share with you guys on the description link so you get it and then use it on your own also so i'm just i just tap on it now I, i'm gonna crop to somewhere here and then click ok and then increase it a little bit and then place it here so boom we have our awesome style text effect easy right okay guys thanks for watching this awesome tutorial keep creating keep creating keep creating don't forget to subscribe if you've not to and then um see you guys next wednesday